One of the tasks of an Impulse administrator is to create workflows the users can utilize in their daily work. And in this video, we'll take a look at how to create an informative workflow. You might already know what workflows are, but here's a little refresher just in case. Workflows represent information life cycles according to real-world processes. Workflows are divided into states that represent the working stages of the document or another object. In this example, beneficial states could be, for instance, draft, final, and obsolete. You can define different conditions and actions for your workflow states. For example, what needs to happen to the document for it to move into or out of a state, or once the document moves to a state, does it trigger some actions, for instance, if a notification message is sent to someone. Ta-da! Here are our workflow states. Except for one. I did mention that obsolete would be one of the states, didn't I? Well, lucky for me, I'm able to add it amongst the others from here. Now, we need to draw the state transitions between our workflow states. The state transitions can change the document's permissions and can also have conditions that once fulfilled will trigger this transition. Now our beautiful workflow is basically ready, so we can save it and jump into the desktop to see how it works. We are now able to move the document from state to state. Pretty neat, ain't it? We could spice it up with some actions. Let's check that out. Let's add actions to the final and obsolete state that will add a new description property on the metadata card that will give us more information about the document. Now let's go back to the desktop to see if we were successful. Great success! Our workflow works and flows. Creating and maintaining workflows is a very important task if you're an Enfos administrator and an absolutely great way of supporting your users. I know I mentioned some things about workflows we didn't see in this video, but no need to panic. They will be covered in upcoming ones. See you soon.